podcast, if you would please. God damn, this music be, be invoking some sort of movement out of me. God damn. This music sensual. It's relaxing. I like it. I like it a lot. God damn. I wish YouTube would just remember my hashtags that I put. I gotta type this shit in every time. God damn. Oh. Oh la la. Oh la la. Havana unana. I love Fontaine and it loves me. I love Fontaine. Fontaine loves me. I love Fontaine. And Fontaine loves me. Oh, I love Fontaine. And it loves me. I love Fontaine. And it loves me. I love Fontaine to tain to tain. Fontaine tain tain to tain to tain. Tain 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 to tain to tain. I love Fontaine and it loves me. Boom, 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 boom. God damn. What time is it? It's Fontaine time. I'm not even supposed to be here. But I snuck here on the loud. If my Genshin mom and dad find out, I'm probably gonna be in shit. <laughs> I'm not actually... I'm not actually gonna be playing the story in Fontaine. Because technically, chronologically, I'm not here yet. But whilst I'm chilling, nuclear war, disease, climate violence, doomsday clock. You what is going on? Tongue? What advert have I, I got on my like YouTube video? God damn. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. I just tell it how it is. And if they can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. I'm going to put my foot in their ass. <laughs> I love the wonder. I love the wonder. He's really cool because he's a badass and he's sweet. I know he's got a different name. I know he's got a different name, baby. But I love him. I think he's cool. I think that wanderer is cool as hell. Goddamn. Alright, alright, alright. I think that wanderer. I call him my wanderer. Cause he goes round and around and around and around and around. Okay, that's all set up. Everything's groovy. Everything's good. The chat is on my phone. I can see the Fontaine. Fontaine can see me. We're all having a good old time in Fontaine. Right, let's go over there. Ooh, I want to rescue every chest along the way. You know me, baby. I'm all about those Primo gems. I've been a good little spondooly. I've not been spending my primo gems, not off. I've been saving them. I've been saving them for that special somebody. Can I just say, I know people watch the streams back. I know not everybody can make it live. We've just been discussing that with my friend Neve. I know some of you guys obviously can't watch live. So I can just go live whenever I can. And uh, I know some people, most of you people, you got stuff on. You might have work. You might have family commitments. You might have whatever it takes. You know, you might have a lot of different things that take up time in your day. And if you can come and give my me some time either live or post stream. Once the stream's concluded, if you guys come by anyway. Like some of you do. Thank you very much. I know like people like Kara, she tunes in every now and then. But obviously... She got shit that she does. Everyone's got shit that they do. I know that not everybody has my timetable. That's why I just I just gotta make the content so everybody can turn up as and when it suits them. And that's the best thing. If you can turn up live, fantastic. If you can't, sweet. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. But what I wanted to say is a massive thank you because I uh, got a little bit of I had a little bit of fear uploading a video. I uploaded a video three weeks ago. And it did fantastic. It was a, ba a Barbie video that we did a parody in, of Barbie in GTA. It was when the Barbie movie was coming out three weeks ago. And I was very nervous about making a follow-up video, a new video, to try and compete with that one. That one got like 80 views in three weeks. 
physics and I was very nervous to try and compete with it. But what ended up happening was I released my first ever Genshin video. I know we do a lot of live streaming, I know we've done a lot of YouTube shorts, but I actually uploaded a Genshin video and by my surprise, Who says there it got are benefits 50 views to a life of in the first day. Bearing in mind like this last video I uploaded, it got 80 views in three weeks. You guys were kind enough, fantastic enough, to help me get that video all the way up to Quit 50 me. views in one day. Upon the gale. So I just wanted to give you guys a massive thank you. <coughs> I'm very unwell at the moment. I've been suffering with tremendous Swallow aches and fury. pains huh. uh, in my shoulder, my arm, my chest and my back. Um, I've not been sleeping very well. I've been struggling with my uh, sort of Take mild insomnia. Fun. I've um, not been enjoying my sleep very well. I've been struggling to sleep and it's been very difficult. The wind rises. But making videos helps that sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily give me the best energy in the world. Um, obviously when I have terrible sleep, I've not had the best energy. But making videos makes me super happy and I'm really grateful that I get to do this. <laughs> and um, yeah, it gives me a massive morale boost. <laughs> so um, regardless of what's going on with me in my day to day personal life, I want you guys to understand that doing this, even when I'm physically unwell, makes me feel very rises. lucky and happy indeed. My aspect ratio for my game is a bit funny, so I'm going to try and mess around with the settings. I'm going to try and make it go full screen. Now that I've... Like that. That should be normal now. But if the screen cuts off at any point, let me know. Because sometimes Genshin has a problem trying to record its gameplay. Sometimes it can be a little nightmare to do. Hey, yo, what's that? That leg's all bubbly and shit. What'd that, what'd that do? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Swallow fury. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Behold. Something's going on over here. One with nature. Something to do with these crabs. Hey. You asked for it. You asked for it. Squall and fury. Following me. Huh. Too slow. The wind rises. Hmm, something to do with this puzzle. Oh, I need a fire character. Okay, okay. Party setup. Party setup. Oh, god damn! Look at that new menu! God damn! God damn! Okay. I've already got a pyro character. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I didn't have a pyro character? Could you imagine? Imagine not having a pyro? 
couldn't be me, dude. It couldn't be me. Yeah. How did how did these little orbs work? Let's try and find a picture of the little orbs. How does how yeah, what does that do? Naturally, a hydro thing like Fontaine will search after you collect three will combine into a core, apply hydro to the surrounding environment. Okay, okay, okay. That's not really helpful though. Do I need to keep collecting like more of this? I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. I'm aware that I can't go in the water because if I go in the water, I'll probably die. Like that, like that, like that. Get out of the water, you sausage. My god. No, don't dive into it. Oh, you dumb as fuck. Oh, guess what? You were dumbass. <laughs> That's what happened. You were dumbass. You were dumbass, bitch. Okay? Wanderer, don't do that shit again. Stop diving into the poison water, you silly, silly boy. Silly boy. Alright, listen. Behold. Let's get, let's get, let's get you. And then maybe combine that with... With this? And then, do we do like magic with it or some shit? I'm confused. Somebody tell me what to do. I've solved most of the puzzle. I just haven't got it all. I just don't know what else it wants from me, okay? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't like it. It's confusing, and it's weird. And I'm not a fan. No, 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 no. Okie dokie. Roll in agreement. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's weird, and it's bizarre. Swan Fury. It's weird and it's very bizarre and I don't understand what it wants from me. Search for it. I'm very confused. Squalling Fury. I I get that. I get that. He's, he's dead again. Oh, yeah, this water thing. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't understand it. That puzzle doesn't make sense to me. Someone needs assistance. Hey, he bloody needs assistance. He keeps going in the water, the daft sausage. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, we've got one more. We've got one more Fontaine thing to search. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at these bloody waypoints. Bloody hell. Worship the statue. Offer them all, of course. Of course. Maybe we should turn our... Uh... Look at that, that's really cool. Maybe we should turn him. This world is full of un... Maybe he should resonate with the Hydros. That makes sense, right? Surely. Okay. I'm getting a message. Helen, my beautiful girlfriend and moderator, should be in the chat tonight, but she can't make it because she's somewhere else. At the moment, she's away from her Wi-Fi, and therefore she is doing her very good duties as an auntie. We have some sproglings that we're responsible for, kind of. We have two beautiful nieces and two beautiful nephews. We could not be any luckier. To have uh, to have that layout already um, set up for us, so you know she's she's 
dealing with the Sproglings at the moment. The two, uh, the two little nieces. So that's very nice. I wish I could be there. But due to my medical conditions, I cannot be. Unfortunately. So, uh, so there you go. Right. I don't want him. No offence, bud. I, I know he's the main character and we should care about him, but I don't really care. Get him out my way. I want my Wanderer back. This had Thank better you. be important. The Wanderer's back. Fantastic. Right, we're going to take off all of these little teeny tiny little little teeny tiny little way punch. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start all the way up there. And obviously we're going to just, we'll, we'll make a line as we go, but... The wind rises. No, 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 fuck off. Fuck off. I don't want to go this. No, don't want to do little side quests. No, thank you. I just want to get my Primo gems from, from my things, okay? That's all we want to do. Don't want to, why am I going over here? Tom, Tom, stop it. Tom, you're being distracted. Tom, you're being distracted again. Stop, stop it. You're going over towards the flowers. Pick the flowers and leave. Hilly trolls. Avoid fights at all costs. Unless it is completely avoidable. Or unavoidable. Like that. I'll just fly away from you because I am superior and you're not. Sort off. Piss off. What is this? The wind rises. Weird looking area. I'm not going to go near that because that looks like it could trigger something. <laughs> We're just going to climb away from that. <laughs> Didn't see it. Not looking. Not looking. <laughs> the rainbow rose. Behold. This man can pick oranges off a tree with his ability. Yeah. <laughs> Too slow. The wind rises. That's a challenge. Is it a Quit following me. We need to interact with that. Ah, piss. It's going to be at the top of that freaking mountain, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. Too Why slow. would it not be? <laughs> no, thank you. We don't want to go near that. Squall fury. Huh. Too slow. I know you're going to be on this pissing mountain, aren't you? Behold! Huh. Take our time. Let me know if you do. I think Danny's started the Fontaine storyline, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Squall and Fury. He's, uh, he he and Neve uh, got me into Genshin Impact, and they're both far 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 ahead of me when it comes to stories and stuff like that. But Behold. I try to judge what we do in the live streams based on the overall reaction of the people in the live stream. So for example tonight, whatever reason Quit following me. Tonight is a bit of a quieter yeah, yeah. community, so we haven't got as many people and fury. in the stream today. So because we haven't got as many people in the stream as we sometimes do, because of that, the stream is gonna be slightly calmer. So we're gonna do more chill stuff. But then if for whatever reason, you know, 10 or so people decide to pop in, maybe some... Did that hilly troll just jump off a cliff? Maybe, maybe... <laughs> what? I need to go back and clip that. What? So I, I get down here. I'm just chilling on a cliff. I'm talking about the stream. Next... <laughs> <laughs> no ten or so 
people decide to pop in. Maybe some. Did that heli troll just jump off a cliff? How do you call what what are they called are they called hilly trolls? Oh, let me know when you leave Fontaine. Oh, fair enough. Danny, Danny is doing his story at the moment in Fontaine. And when I get into Sumeru, that is then when he's going to tune in to the stream. But yeah, what I was trying to say before the hilly troll just stole the, stole the live. Just what will we come across? What I was trying to say was, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to let... I'm happy to let this stream dictate what happens. So, like I said, let's say for example we get 10 people in the sh in the stream. They might want to do something massive. If we have 10 people in the stream, we'll do something massive. I'll if we have close. 3 or 4 people in the stream, we'll we'll stick to doing the more chill things. And that's basically how that'll work. And and that way it just helps me. Helps me gauge how much of myself I'm giving over, especially when I'm not feeling well. It's not the nicest. They'd be like, yeah, let's go, let's do something. And then there's like, or when you've really hyped yourself up for something massive and then no one turns up. It's not the best feeling in the world. For example, Call of Duty, I get that Call of Duty syndrome all the time. Whenever I'm playing on my own, off stream, or maybe like there's one or two people watching. I'm I'm kicking ass. I'm doing fantastic. I'm getting the highest killed games I ever get on, on record. I'm I'm smashing my objectives. I'm doing a kick-ass job. I'm proud of myself. I'm doing really well. And then four or five people turn up to the stream, which I know isn't lots, but it's a lot for me. So let's say like yeah, four or five people start joining the stream. I then for some reason start doing terribly. And it, it, like, I don't know. I don't know why that happens on Call of Duty specifically. But single-player games or, like, free-roaming games like Genshin and stuff, I'm all right with that. I can vibe with that because people will turn up and we'll have a good time. And like I say, obviously, when there's tons of us here, like, when I was doing some of the Archon quests, it just so happened to be that lots of people turned up. So we did the bigger, more exciting things. Right now, there might be, like, two or three people who hang around. So there's no point doing anything massive because my whole enjoyment comes from seeing the reactions of people live thinking, oh my god, he's doing the thing that I did or this is his first time taking on this boss or, you know, he's doing something different. The wind rises. That, to me, sells me on the game completely. Like, that gets me so gassed when people are watching me do something massive in the game, something that they themselves might remember doing, something that they themselves might never do because it's not their cup of tea to play, but it's their cup of tea to watch. And I think Genshin, out of all my games, has taught me that there are so many different consumers of content. Not every single person will consume content the same way. And I think, obviously, in hindsight, that's a really easy thing to understand and grasp. But sometimes... As a content creator, it always isn't. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's very, very difficult to sit here and be like, why don't they watch my content? Why don't they enjoy my live streams? And it's like, you're not, you're not found your audience yet, pal. But it's okay. Because in time, you will. And like, I never thought I'd have a Genshin community. I never thought I'd have people who turned up for Genshin live streams. And then obviously today, seeing the videos. Has been has been a magical feeling because I've had you guys come and tune in and watch the watch the live stream and and that's fantastic and then you've gone and supported the video that we've uploaded which is again fantastic because it was never my 
it was never my assumption that that video was going to do well. I thought maybe if it got, you know, 20, 30 views, I could write Take it off it as a mild fun. success. But you guys really blew me away with that, coming and showing that much support to a Genshin video. Because in the past, I've tried to upload a Genshin video. Maybe I've uploaded it wrong or under the wrong settings or something like that. But in the past, when I've tried to upload a Genshin video, it sometimes hasn't been responded to the best because we hadn't built that audience up strong enough yet. Where now I feel like there's quite honestly, as my data has shown, there's quite a strong amount of you who actually tune in and enjoy the, the content. So that's pretty sick. You know, it's something I'm proud of and I'm grateful for. Behold. And I want to do my best to keep you entertained. Because at the end of the day, that's where that's where my bread and butter comes into it. I am, I am an entertainer. I want to keep you entertained. So, uh, this is Sparta. Ah, get off my cliff! Woohoo! It's gonna follow me. It's gonna follow me. We're so going to normal mode and just steady as stone. Boom, 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 boom. The wind knows me. Come on, the shuck clouds hide. The Bro, birds call. Look uh. alive. Ha. 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 Leave it all to me. One with nature. Shuck. The wind rises. As a dutiful maid would. Behold! that gonna go oh oh well shit hello <laughs> god damn the wind rises take it and have fun what what the hell Oh, that's so cool. Whee! Oh, I didn't realize he was an actual boss I had to fight. Like a little mini boss. Look at Fontaine, though, bro. Like, we've made we've made stuff on the Origins T channel. You'll probably see it in the chat box. Um, I didn't know this until I was getting clips from the live streams the other day. That you can actually see the chat in real time to the stream happening. So, like, on a few of the older streams where we're taking on... Like, I think it was the Raiden Shogun and, uh, what you called, um, Signora. You can actually see the chat in real time to what's going on in the stream, which is really sick, even when you're watching it on playback, which I never knew. So, watching it back on playback has been really fun, because I can read the chat in real time as the stream's happened, and is going on in the background, so that was really cool. So, um, basically, yeah, on the Origins T channel, we've been talking about the not negatives but the certain problems and the certain aspects of call of duty this year and what we're fearing and what our sort of cons of the situation so far are looking like and obviously what might transpire versus to what we actually want to see and obviously we've got to take that with a pinch of salt obviously we've got to be very careful how we look at things and and obviously try and be optimistic for it but at the end of the day, whether or not that transpires as a good or a bad thing, we don't know, and we won't know. We'll have to wait, and we'll have to see. But, I was talking about how a AAA title, such as Call of Duty, asks people right out the bat, maybe with two or three minutes of gameplay to go off. They want you $70 up front, they want you $90 up front, they won all of that shit right off the bat before you've even had a chance to even play the game. They want your 70 or 90 bucks up front before you even have a chance to, to feel the game, to experience the game. 
they're hammering you in the promotional material for purchase this, purchase this, pre-order this, pre-order this, pre-order this, pre-order our new game. It's coming out in November. Pre-order it today. But this bonus, this bonus, this bonus. Genshin is a game that is free to play. And I think one of the reasons I'll love it forever, not only the personal attachment I've got to it, because obviously friends, deep, close personal friends have recommended it me. It's the fact that it's, it's a game that's free to play. It's happy for you to install it, try it out, experience it, earn all of your wishes for free, give you all this free content. I mean, we got this entire new update the other day, Fontaine. We got Fontaine the other day. All this new part of the map, like, bear in mind, people who've played Genshin know, but bear in mind, look how big this map is. All these islands, thousands, if not hundreds and thousands of small details recreated in this massive map. All these side quests, all these domains, all these different things, boss fights, you know, missions, Archon quests, story missions, side missions, collectibles, events, all this shit for free. All of it for free. And at the very most, if you're really, really desperate and you really, really, really want to, you can make that purchase of a few Primo Gems, whatever it might be. And maybe it's for an outfit. Maybe it's for a character that you really love and they've got a new costume coming out that looks sick. And that's what you really, really want to put your money towards. But again, it doesn't ask you for anything up front. It just asks you to play the game. And it's an old fashioned way of gaming. Back when you bought your Pokemon for 40, 50 quid and you played it, you know, and you played it day one and you could play it till you finished the story and then you could boot it all back up again and play it all over again. There was updates, there was changes, there was enhancements, but none of it was a have to buy thing. You have to buy this, you have to buy this, you have to buy this. This game could charge 20, 30, 40 dollars for a new area and it just chooses not to. It chooses to give you so much shit for free that this game blows my mind that it exists in a world that we live in for gaming today. Because gaming today wants every penny, every cent, every dime, every nickel, every dollar, every pound that you have got in your pocket. It wants it all and it will milk you dry. But this game doesn't do that. And I've got so much love in my heart and respect in my heart for a game studio like Hoyoverse. If that's the correct way to say it. I'm sorry if it's not. But for doing that for free. For giving you this content for free. For giving you. You can come on. You can criticise Genshin all you like. You can criticise its art style. You can criticise the way that the characters interact. And whatever. You can be as critical as you wish. You can have as dark of an opinion on this game as you possibly want to. But at the end of the day. You cannot argue with the unequivocal fact. Right? Swan Fury. The unequivocal fact. That this game never once tries to rip you off. Never once tries to ask for your money. Never once tries to backstab you, betray you. All you've got to do is look at FIFA. Call of Duty. The UFC games. So much content that should be free. Upon the game. That they hide behind these ridiculous paywalls. Quit following me. This game's got a battle pass in it for free. It's got characters in it for free. It's got worlds and expansions in it for free. That they could charge... <laughs> Like I say, big figures for. They could charge, honestly, some serious numbers for this game. And and for the open areas that you get in these new updates. And they just don't. They For whatever reason, they just don't do that. And I appreciate and I love the team who makes those decisions. It is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best free-to-play game I've ever touched with a 10-foot barge pole. And like I said, the emotional bias to have for it because I've been introduced to it by friends, by close personal friends of mine. That just makes my experience ten times greater and more enjoyable. But it, for a game that's free to play and the stuff that it gives you for free, too slow. it's it's undoubtedly a hard thing to beat. It's, it's, a hard, it's a hard game to try and rival in that sense. I couldn't name you a game today that gives you this much content for free. I'd struggle to. Maybe that's me not playing enough of the, of the nice games, of the good games. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm stuck to playing some more of the the crueler games and the more tight-fisted games. But and maybe that's just my lack of knowledge in the, of some of the gaming game systems that are out today. 
I'm sure Zelda's like that. You know, like Breath of the Wild and stuff when that when that first came out. I'm sure there was no microtransactions and season passes and massive, massive expensive DLCs and stuff. I mean, look at Cyberpunk. That game came out to a lot of negativity. Those game developers doubled down on it. They knuckled down on it. And they said that, yep, there was aspects of the game that was unpolished and unfinished. And there was aspects of the game that need to be better. And that's what, exactly what they did. They, they waited. And they reworked it. And now that it's up to a good quality, good playable quality again. Now it's available for a DLC at some point in the future. And I think it earns that right. I think it earns the right of a DLC because they've they've owned up to their mistakes, shown you where they've gone wrong, and polished it up enough to the point where now they deserve a chance at a DLC. And they've made it reasonable. They've made it reasonable. I think it's like £26 in the UK, if I can remember rightly. I might, maybe might be getting that wrong slightly, but roughly that. So, like I say, it's not ridiculous. It's not extravagant for a DLC these days. It's pretty damn reasonable. But, yeah, I'm really proud of this game. Really proud of it. Really, really proud of it. And I'm really grateful to play it and to have experienced it in such a good way. And have been brought into the fold by two of the best people I could ever meet and... Honestly, it's been a trip, but I've absolutely loved it so far, and I keep enjoying it. Every time I load it up and play it, I enjoy the hell out of it. And like I say, in the environment that we live in today, free-to-play games with this much content, Welcome to dime the a dozen, you know? Off of us. It's, a, it's a hidden gem, this a hidden gem. Will take you to the magnificent Court of I'm riding the boat. The I got excited and nation. jumped off last time, but I'm going to ride the boat now. Speaking of Fontaine, you may have heard of the unique trials held in our courts and presume this nation to be a very serious and solemn place. In reality, Fontaine is also a center of culinary and artistic delights, full of fine architecture, music, paintings, and delicacies, each of which are well worth experiencing for yourself. Why is architecture first in this list, you might ask? For good reason. Because for any new passengers, you'll get your very first look at the splendor of the Court of Fontaine towards the end of this tour. So keep your eyes peeled and prepare to gasp with amazement when the moment comes. The Aquabus is now arriving at Poisson Tunnel. Though much of Fontaine is covered by water, there are also beautiful mountains and forests here. Mont Alton Key is one of our most iconic peaks. Lots of adventurers enjoy camping on its summit. I heartily recommend the experience to all visitors. With that said, visitors should also pay attention to personal safety and hire some locals or clockwork NECA as bodyguards. This is pretty dope, though, that they've added this in, like a whole thing with like a little boat ride that takes you over to the city. That's going to be pretty cool. My friends were explaining that this area is based off France. I mean, uh, that looks pretty, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like how every area... Feels so unique. Entering Poisson Tunnel. Everyone should now be able to see the light from the Aquabus more clearly. Beautiful, isn't it? It's very different from the fluorescent materials used in Sumeru or the torches used in other countries. These are Fontaine exclusive night lights powered by Indemnidium. Of course, Indemnidium isn't just for such trivial uses as lighting. And Dimnidium is a power source, capable not only of powering this tiny boat, but also meeting the daily energy demands of an entire city. Plus, it's completely safe. 
You'll have the chance to learn more <coughs> about this amazing power source once you reach the Court of Fontaine. Once you reach the Court of Fontaine. Boo 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 This whole area is just like exploring Fontaine. Like, goddamn, I want to get a star real bad. But then again, I don't want to jump off this nice lady's boat. <laughs> I want the star, but I don't want to jump off the boat. I want to get the star, but I don't want to jump off the boat. <laughs> I'm going to have to just ride it out. Look at this beautiful place. Goddamn, that looks mysterious. Hello. Located. The upper class. Do you see that really tall structure? I do. I once asked Elfin, what's that big old thing? She said, no clue. What's the use of learning the meaning of things? But anyway, Elfin is a super amazing and super friendly melusine. If you have a chance, you really should take the Navia line and listen to her tour. Behind me is the destination of our tour. The magnificent Court of Fontaine. Please take all of your personal belongings with you when you disembark. I want this thing to be a real. I, I listen. I need I need this person to be a real person. I need her to narrate everything in my life. She's amazing, and if anything happens to this individual, I'm gonna break some kneecaps. Okay, okay. Look at the fontaine. It's so gorgeous. It's a, the wanderer is enjoying himself. He's even got his little sun hat on. I'm having a great time. <laughs> We're going into Fontaine. I don't know how to say that name. I'm scared to try. But she's cute. And I like that character. Yeah. <laughs> Send my little my little video to my friends. Oh no! I almost forgot. Ahem. Well aboard the Aquabus, please keep your head, hands, and other body parts, as well as your canes, swords, cameras, and other personal items <laughs> inside the boat at all times. The Aquabus operator bears no responsibility whatsoever for any injury or loss incurred as a result of disobeying the rules. Um, maybe I said that late for the disclaimer. Anyway, I'm happy you've had an incident-free journey today, and it was my pleasure to serve as your tour guide for this trip. Thank you! Aww, she's adorable. She's a cute character. Welcome to Fontaine. Achievement unlocked. Go into Fontaine. To the oh, I didn't read those options. I just pressed the button. Oh dear. There's <laughs> lots of different places. God damn. God damn. Oh, good heavens! <laughs> that unlocks a lot of options. Well, that's Fontaine ticked off the map, and I mean, I can't believe I've ticked that off the map before this place, but... <laughs> it's just how we roll. <laughs> it's just what we do. Oh, ah, ah. I need nine more. Nine more, and I get 60 Primo Gems and a key. G -g 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 -g. Let's go to the achievements, please. Thank you. World achievements, except any other achievements? Ooh, Fontaine. I found Fontaine. All right. Let's climb this building. The first thing I want to do is cl climb this building. Acknowledge we can't climb up those lips, but we could probably get a good crack at going straight up. This is just gonna be a climbing simulator. Boom, 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 Dire? You mean dire is get? I know what get means. I'm cool. I'm down with the trends. Taser. It's a pretty cool name. I love that name. 
Sweet. Look at me climbing up this building. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. How to how to tackle this? I love how everybody plays Genshin slightly differently. For example, most people use it as a nice little RPG game, and I use it as a rock climbing simulator. It is as the stars foretold. Oh God damn! You want Gat? This is Gat. Ready? That's some Gat right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna combine her with the Wanderer's ability to. <laughs> we use Mona to climb a wall. The views creep up slightly. It's like yeah. This better be important. I know my audience. <laughs> I know what they like. They know what I like. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up this wall. I love how I can I love how I'm just unexplainably Spider-Man in this game. Now, all the characters have got like great grip strength on their fingertips. They can just climb up buildings. I don't know how. I'm not going to question it because it's pretty freaking cool. But um, yeah, also none of them suffer with vertigo. Pretty good, isn't it? Pretty casual. Just uh, climbing off this 500 story building. You know, 500 foot building. Just going to climb over here. Casually take a little break. Oh, please don't fall off. Jesus Christ, I had, a, I had a mild aneurysm then. Behold. <laughs> Didn't think about how we were going to tackle this very obvious... Like, they... Some reason they can, like, do this maneuver, but they can't, like... They can't always maneuver the best if that makes sense like they can climb certain objects but they just can't go over lips oh luxurious chest unnecessary <coughs> i'll show you in a, a luxurious chest hey yo right how do we how do we how do we uh how do we hmm, how do we climb up this building <laughs> i'm figuring it out I'm figuring it out don't you worry just gonna think we're gonna have a nice think about it we're gonna climb up here somehow. The wind rises. There's no way he can. Maybe if I just have a little examination. Oh. Oh god. I think I may have just fuddled myself. I'm now a shadow. We are venom. See, like. Oh! <gasps> I did it! Woohoo! How do I do the Paimon picture? Oh, Paimon picture quickly! Can't take a picture in this current state! No! That's not that's not fair, man. It's not fair. They call me the wonder. <laughs> they call me the wonder. What is that? It's <laughs> pretty cool. Look, look at this place. I want to I wanna climb it. I want to climb it. <laughs> I want to climb it. I want to climb the mountain. I want to climb that mountain. <laughs> if I can see it, I can climb it. There's a whole city like under the water. You can see kind of outlines of it. Definitely. Let's get some photos of my girl Mona. Looking pretty cool. Zoom, 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 zoom. And I don't want the world to see me. Cause I don't think that they don't understand. What, should, what, what are we doing? What are we doing again? Uh, guess what? <laughs> Shut up. Um oh, oh we can put new we can put new things in our teapot. Put new things in the teapot. What's this? Uh, don't know what this is. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Def defeat these things. Okay. 
find these things. Okay. Defeat. Defeat seven normal opponents in Fontaine. Underwater zones? Okay. Find more flowers, essentially. Okay. Alright, what is the furthest region? Probably... Probably navigate over there. I would assume. I mean, just because we got... Uh, we got the height advantage. Upon the gale. Zoom! Whee! Alright, we go to... Go to that mountain. We just keep hang gliding. Just keep hang gliding. To the different areas. I mean, you fall tremendously quick in this game. What is that? What is that? What is that? There. It's interesting. Oh, good heavens! <coughs> Squall and fury. Oh, this. Behold. Oh. I'll figure this out at some point. I promise. There you go. The wind rises. Behold. Fury. Oh. <laughs> Take it and have I wasn't fun. scared at all. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was terrified. First I was afraid. I was petrified. I didn't know how I'd live without you by my side. Spend every single night and telling me how I proved you wrong. Then I grew strong. I grew strong to carry on. No, no, not I. I will survive. I'm exploring Fontaine because I can't do shit on my own. I'm bleeding all over me like a number nine. I'm being a man of my own. Bam, 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 Hey-ho! What is this one? Oh... Baby... I don't... I don't... I... I, I don't want to do those on my own. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't wish to do those on my own. <laughs> Heli trolls. The wind rises. You dare to gaze upon me? Is pretty exhilarating. Why does she moan like that? <laughs> Search for it. Why, why on earth did she moan like that? I mean, I know she's called Mona, but.
Hit me again, I dare you. Fate is upon you. Behold, oh, how amusing. <laughs> Fallen leaves adorn my night. The wind knows me. That's far enough. Let's get it on. Gloves off. Get it on like Donkey Kong. Swan Fury. Cry louder. Let me scrub. Clouds high. The birds come. Buckle up. You asked for it. Hailing them. Jesus Christ. Dia just wailing on the guy. Look alive! Into the wind! Written in the stars! The stars are fading! No! Mona! Bastards. Take it and have fun. You bastards, you took it from me. The wind rises. Having Mona around for eye candy is one thing, but... I don't think she makes a very strong, uh, a strong or compelling character to have in the party. Unfortunately. I will protect you. I may need Noel back because she was pretty good. <sighs> He's getting savage. Squawn Fury. Trying to get all the teleports unlocked in Fontaine, then I'll go and do Sumeru. And then, um, that way. I'll begin Sumeru once I've got all the teleports unlocked in Fontaine. And then that way, once Sumeru's done, I can head over to Fontaine. Do all my Archon quests over here. Six more. Upon the gale. Huh, too slow.
It's a new enemy attack. No! Stop attacking them, you fucking idiot! Don't want you to attack them, do I, you fucking sponge? I want you to attack this thing. No. You are a... That's it. Steady as stone. I'm gonna f*** shit up. Read my lips. You are a moron. Let's get it on. Potato chip. Potato chip. Smash it out of him. And that one too. Dump him. Piss off. You're really beginning to piss me off. One with nature. Shut up. As one with wind and cloud. Die, stupid ball. Oh, that's it. You don't want to die? Oh, I'll meet... You'll meet death. Ball of spinniness. Meet death. She's a badass bitch called Dia, and she will fuck you up. She will mess you up. She will cut you into 18 slices of bitcheroni. Fantastic work, dear. Well, how about that? Look at her coolness. For someone so hot, she's so cool. I don't know why she likes it. She's such a cool character. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Don't play with me. Too slow. Rainbow kisses. Mm -hmm. The rainbow rose. That's what I give to Badoo on the daily. Very dope. Too slow. Oh bam. Oh, what a treat! You're dead! What a pleasant little treat I found. Can't shoot what you can't see, bitch. <laughs> shoot me now. Shoot me a day. Bet you can't shoot me. Okay, that was cheating. The wind rises. But, okay, well that's like. What an excellent little present I gave myself just then. All them are under the ground, so we can't do much about them. But let's go over to the world statue. Behold! Ask my superiors, Neven Dunny, a uh, question whether or not I should actually allow myself to explore Fontaine and its wonders, or whether or not I'm uh, not allowed to do that. Uh, whether or not that will break my immersion in the game, because I don't the want wind rises. that to happen. But obviously I want to explore because it's new and shiny and I like it. Swan Fury! I will find you more stars, I am assured of it. Oh, I'm gonna find where the Adventure Guild is. Look at this place. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't the do like to suck all my feet? Wait, what? Out there, roaming in the sun. Just one morning out there. All I ask is one. To hold forever out there, swimming by the sun. I can't get anything from her yet. <laughs> Add Astra. Add Astra Abathoth to you too. 
We dispatch characters on this way. We meet again. Yes, we do. We gotta start meeting like this. We gotta start meeting like this. Taste one morning out there. All I ask is one to hold for when rises out of there. It's from one of my favorite Disney movies, Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my absolute favorites. You're cool. Are you a robot? God damn, he's a robot. Transformers, robots in disguise. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, pigeon. Squall and fury. Piss. Hey, darling. You look pretty cool. Oh, piss. How do I get up there? The wind rises. Say it's the one in the morning. Out there, all I ask Too is slow. one to hold forever. Out there, rolling in the sun. Oh my god, that's from the Quasimodo film Hunchback of Notre Dame, and this place is based on France. So, technically, I just made a reference without knowing I made a reference. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool reference. All right, apart from this one and this one. Everything else appears to be underground. Um, yep, yepperoni. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yepperoni pepperoni. Which means, as long as I... As long as I get up to here... And get those two on the land, I've unlocked everything I possibly can. <laughs> I want to be higher. I want to be higher like a kite in the sky. I want to know how many Primo Gems I've got after getting all of these. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine how many I get. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, folks. I got TB. Oh, aren't you a pretty new sight to see? I should have a star on my map. Thank you. Three more of them, Small and I'm going to get a present. What is this? Hmm. <laughs> Darling. Unnecessary. What an exquisite feather. Quiet, quiet. <sighs> Quit following me. <sighs> the wind rises. <sighs> Quit following me. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Let's get it on! Dinging ah. on my dong. Hey, what? The wind's melting. I must leave no stone unturned. Squall fury. Not as fury like a wondrous storm. You dare to gaze upon me? Lines of dialogue, possibly one of the coldest Steady lines of dialogue still. I have ever heard in my ten years. <laughs> you dare gaze upon one with me, nature. like you're not even worthy. Cloud time, the birds come. Probably one of the coldest lines of dialogue I've ever heard a character say. That's why I love the wonder. The wind rises. The godlike being. Of Those are my characters. Ah, 
Unnecessary. Even when he gets rewards, he's like unnecessary. He couldn't give a shit. Bro turns things into chicken. Ow. Hurts my feelings when you do that. Oh, too slow. Oh, piss. is going on quit following me what does it want from me man huh. oh, come on come on what does it want from me Want me to hit both of them at the same goddamn time? Oh, come on, man! What the fuck does he want? What do you want? What do you want from me? Quit following me. Fucking hate puzzles, man. Fucking hate them. Hate them with a passion. Wait, 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 no, 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 you will die. <laughs> Turns into Palpatine because he gets the puzzle off. No, no, no. I was there, I was there with the palm of my hands. No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 please come back, please. Fuck off! Fuck off, wicked! Fuck off, wicked! Fuck off! Please! 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 Beep, beep, beep. Yes, yes, yes! Good, 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 yes, 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 good, 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 yes, 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 Fuck off! Unnecessary. Fuck off! Now, yes! Fuck off! Search for Fuck off! What is this? What are you? What do you do? Get back to the dry land. I don't like it. A puzzle. Can't fuck off. Follow me. I don't like it. Yes, you're back in your bubble. Good. Good. I'm very glad for you. Hello. Invented some chicken. Hydro crystal. Yes. Ah! Good, yes. Good, 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 yes, yes, yes. Ah! Don't know what that does. I don't know what this is. Ah! Behold! Oh no, come back. Come back. Come back. Yes. Yes, now it's your turn. Yes, yes. What the fuck do you want from me?
very good, very good. For you. Yes, very good. What? I don't fucking know what you want from me! I don't know what you want from me! <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me? I've got to get you and leave you alone. I guess. And then get you to come over too. Yes. 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 Why are you gone? Why are you going away? Oh, fuck it. Can't be asked. Can't be asked. Stupid puzzles. I don't like puzzles. I don't like them. They're annoying. Right now, what do you want me to do? Uh, what do you want me to do? Can't be asked. I don't know what it wants. Too slow. Don't know I'm what it wants. Me. I don't know what it wants, Rory. And William, I don't know what it wants. Clearly, it doesn't want me. Clearly, it doesn't want me. <laughs> I don't know what it wants. I don't know what it wants. Me. I don't know what it needs. Too slow. I don't know what it wants, and I don't know what it needs. The wind rises. Can't do this bloody puzzle. It's driving me fucking crazy. Stay there. Just stay where you are. Stop going away. Squad Fury. Why? Why did you piss off then? Oh, I can't be asked. Can't be asked. Solving this puzzle. It's only for five Primo gems. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I want. Because I can't have it. It's annoying. I'm gonna drown myself. I'm gonna. What is this? What is this? What do you don't like? You attack him. I'm gonna attack you. That's stupid. I don't get combat underwater. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Is that how I've got to attack like this? All the all the time. Okay. What does F do? I'm dead. I am lost beyond belief. Just fighting crabs underwater. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Am I okay? What's happening? Why is the teleports under the water? <laughs> Help me, I'm under the water. How do I activate the teleport? It's under the water. Oh, it's F. <laughs> okay, that felt silly. E. Smacking a crab. E. <laughs> a fight with E under the water, apparently. Okay, what do you do then? There's so much shit under the water. It's like I'm playing Avatar. Like I'm playing Avatar. What's going on? What is this? Die, get away from me. Bro, how do I cut this plant? I'm 
Bro, I don't understand plants under the water. Release water blades that are long, sharp. Hold and aim and then release. Hold and aim and then release? Oh, hello, Charlotte. Welcome. Welcome to the Tom doesn't know what the hell he's doing show. Because that's what's going on right now, Charlotte. Tom is lost and has no idea what the hell is going on. Do I have to do it quickly? Right, I'll figure that out at some point because that's just driving me insane. I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. Oh my god. I'm swimming. What's this? Fuck are you? What are you supposed to be? Am I breathing under the water for this long? That's my question. Tom is baffled by everything he's seeing. Basically, this is brand new territory for me. So, everything I see from here on out is a brand new experience. Oh, good heavens, what have I done? Hey. Stop fighting. Leave each other alone and stop being nasty. <laughs> stop fighting. It's not a cue to start fighting me. You want some? I'll give it you. Have that. Have that, you daft bugger. Very, 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 very much confused on what the hell is going on. Essentially, swim around, keep collecting shit. That's the objective. Fuck is that?
Oh, I need to find an attack one. That must be a shield. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Is that right? I just swim next to it. Give it a smack. Nope. I'm stupid. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, why did I do that? Come here. Give me this. I'm figuring this shit out on my own. I'm 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 kind of doing this by myself. <gasps> I'm alone and I need help. <laughs> Let's go. Figured that shit out. I got this. I got this shit. I'm under the water. <laughs> <coughs> Very much so under the water. Jesus Christ. How much there is to explore down here. God damn. Even Danny. They're exploring it themselves. They're doing their own thing. See me down here just swimming and shit. That's on the land. I get that. I get that. Look, look for more of this shit. Look for more of these two. Got it. Let's go get me in there. Hey. 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 I said, get me in there. You wanna dance? Let's dance. I ain't scared of you. I'm scared of you, you dumb bitch. Come on. Fight me. Any day, any time, any place, motherfucker. I am the soul surveyor of the ocean. I know what I'm doing. I got shit to understand. I don't understand much of it because I don't fucking read. Throw some mug of it. Shit, she pissed. Listen, I'm sorry about that. I got a new ability. Something so peaceful about swimming under the water. I like it, it's peaceful down here. know who really should be under here this is how it
Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Charlotte's hit the nail on the head with that one. That's exactly the plan. That is exactly the plan. What do we do? We swim. Resignated with that. Uh, no, thank you. Let's control these. Oh no, I'm. A, did, did I just? I just force her to. I just force her to dive in the water and die. Bro, that was this the easiest chest. For a while. <laughs> that was the easiest chest to ever obtain ever. Surely though Mona should have a bonus swimming underwater because that's her skill. Oh no no!
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. to read about those green plants and actually figure out how you tear them apart because it's got shit that I need. I can teleport under the water? Shut up. No way. Actually, so sick that this game has this feature in it. It's like, are you crazy? Do that one, but I can't do this one. Oh, you gotta line them up. You gotta line them up. Oh, now I get it. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's been so easy in the past because obviously Neve and Danny have been really active in the chat. It's been sh so easy to be struggling on something and be like, "Hey, can you can you help me do this?" And then they're just like, "Yeah, of course." And they like come over because they want to be super helpful. And I get that. But then again, there's also such a easy part of it. For them to come over and be like, yeah, you just do this, and then this is happens, and then this gets fixed, and then this is what you do. But, like, as much as I love them for that, and that, that helps me out ri ridiculously, there's something so awkwardly interesting about... There's something so awkwardly interesting about figuring shit out by myself. But, like, that's what I mean. Like, I don't want them to stop helping me ever. But then again, like, part of me kind of wishes in the future instead of me using them too much. And maybe that gets them a bit bored sometimes. I don't want them to ever feel like I'm boring them by asking them all the questions. Like, help, 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 help. I kind of sometimes want to show them that I can do it by myself. So, I can make them prouder. If that makes sense. Like, all this underwater shit is brand new to me. And... In every other part of Genshin, and even Danny have just been there to be like, yep, you do this, you do this, you do this. And I love them for that, and I need them to do that. 
continuously because otherwise, like I said, I'd struggle as hell doing all that shit on my own. But there is something... There is something so interesting about struggling in certain aspects of games and then having someone else to come and save you versus like you're stuck now you're just gonna have to figure this out by yourself like now i know those crab things are for farming i know these manta ray things are for attacking i'm i'm slowly understanding more and more of this complicated complex scenario I'm slowly beginning to get more and more and more of it. If that makes any sense. Whoa. I think it must be this one. Like... Yes! See what I mean? to rebalance. Like, look at that. I did that shit on my own because I had to. I'm like... If Danny and Eve were here, I would have just asked them to help me and talk me through it. But I figured that shit out. And, like, that was really cool. I think learning to enjoy a game is taking the good and the bad. Like, the struggles with the highlights. And I'm understanding that, obviously. It's nice when someone guides you every step of the way. But then there's also slight rewards in just figuring shit out for yourself. And that struggle is sometimes really worthwhile because in the end you, you feel proud of yourself but obviously when there's like the massive scale shit that i would just never be able to master on my own then obviously danny and eve are the be are the best for them they'll come in and they'll, they'll help me but what i want to start to try and do is rely on them more for the bigger tougher more complex things and show them that in scenarios i can do some cool stuff on my own and that way I can kind of make them proud and show them show them what I'm capable of.
following me. There's no <laughs> end to this. Another test subject. <laughs> Suffocate. <laughs> you eat the wind rises. <sighs> Let's go. Following me. following me oh that one takes longer so that's like one two three four five six seven eight so that takes eight seconds that one's really quick that one's like one two three four and that's like one one two three four five so it's it's about Swarm fury okay i can't do it like that necessarily but it's essentially activating activating this one huh, too slow huh. you know it you know huh. it puzzle you solving puzzle solving and things yeah puzzle solving and things yeah fam Let's go. That was horribly cringy. I'm sorry, but I d I just be proud of myself for do doing that shit. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, that Don't go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This whole stream is just going to be called uh, Fontaine, uh, Fontaine Foraging, Foraging, I like that, Fontaine Foraging, just foraging around Fontaine, Dundo in it, Dundo, look at them, look at them things. Let's go, let's go, Maraco, Maraco, Loom Bell. Where are you gonna find a Loom Bell, bro? Over there, bro. I got over there unlocked because I got the fast pot, fast pot, fast travel in it, fast travel in it, fam. I see some. Oh, that's the stones, isn't it? I'll come back for you, little star, don't you worry. Quit following me. Squall Fury. Dundo, innit? Dundo. What you know about what you know about collecting them though, innit? It's the guards, innit? That's the guards. Let's go to these now, hey? Defeat a total of five. Bro, come on, come on.
can't change my party set up whilst I'm in the air. What you know about my party set up, bro? As you wish. As you wish. Quit following me. Wind Strider. I must leave no stone unturned. The wind rises. You've got to go this bitch until you understand what makes him tick. Time to clean up. Clearly, that's no well, isn't it? Now they respond to fire, shall we? Ha! Squall and fury! The wind rises! I think Wanderer stomping shit out of the most powerful thing you can do to any enemy in the game. Steady it! Into the wind! Oh, one with wind and cloud! Behold! Unsightly insects! Squall and fury! Look alive! Behold! I must leave you! Dundo, isn't it? Bundala caca. Bundala caca. Swan Fury. Leave it up to me. Wind strike. The wind knows me. Let's get it on! Gloves off! Steady as stone. Squall and fury. Know your place. Bro says, know your place, and then proceeds to stomp the shit out of me. It's fine. Clouds high. The birds... The wind rises. Frolicking around Fontaine. <laughs> now it's just the two bosses. <coughs> I will start up there.
Oh, that side of the map's looking pretty juicy. Looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Now it's time to look at this part of the map. Navigate over there. Time. This is how it must be. Too bloody right, love. Food time. Scran a lamb. Bam a lamb. Oh, eat that with sausage. Love it. Cutscene. Oh, it's a little fish. Hello. Oh. And and the fish. Okay, let's go, let's go find some people, eh? I've got my first little pet, one of the little pets you can have follow you about. Oh, that's class. Alright, you. A little fish buddy. You're gonna come with me. I'm gonna help you figure this out. Get through there. Help, help them. Oh, oh. I've been sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Squire Paimon. <laughs> Squire Paimon, attend to this. <coughs> well, I have defeated a dragon in the past. True that, true that. Following me. The wind rises. No. Why did it hit me? Fury. Shadows of fate. Buckle up. They're dead meat. I'm getting a duck. I'm helping a duck. Behold. That's far enough. Nice. I rescued a duck. <laughs> I'm helping all the animals. Alan and <laughs> rises.
Fallen Fury. You dare to gaze upon me? Fallen leaves adorn my night. says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. <laughs> Time to go. Box. How can a box help? A box can't help. How the fuck can a box help me? That's pretty cool. I am Lord Origins, and this is Paimon. <laughs>
Strong Fury. Too slow. Unnecessary. Oh my god, it's a giant frog. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Paimon just beefing with each other. We've reunited them. The friends.
rises. Mm. You even want this? Squall and Fury! Oh, I need an archer. I'll get venti. <laughs> Too slow. to compose myself. Venti never seems to disappoint. This had better be important. That was pretty cool. This whole quest line's pretty unique, like under the water, but then also there's like land down here. You can like breathe and swim. It's kind of trippy. Squall Fury! Whoa. Hello. Maury. <laughs> Sniffs. <laughs> Mori, no! <laughs> woof, woof, bad people. <laughs> no, Mori. Mori, I'm not a bad person. Bad Mori. Into the wind! Look alive! Bad Mori, had to stomp the shit out of you. Silly dog Mori, bad, they're good people. Woof, understood, give paw. You really are a dog? You and Paimon shake hands with Mori. It is slippery experience, as one might expect of a dog made of water. Aw, he thinks he's a dog. Ah, so you're a dog. This makes much more sense. Does it, does it really? How does Mori resemble a dog at all? 
didn't Al say that? Uh, what? Don't you believe that purpose defines essence nonsense? But that's what Mori is, though. A silly dog. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, whatever. If an Oshine oh, can be an evil dragon, blah, 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 silly dog. Yes, wolf. <laughs> Good boy. Haven't you guarded this place? So, is Mori a member of your team? No. I mean, Mori is a dog. <laughs> But a duck, a frog, a finch, and a squirrel can join, so why can't a dog? Mori is Mori. Must protect the princess. A long, long time ago, Mori played her. Oh. Filled. Yes, princess remains. I protect. So that's Princess Lyris. Right, it was mentioned earlier that the princess lost her treasure, which is every... Why, we... Problem solved. This is a statue of the princess. Seriously, another looks like it, but really not. <laughs> woof, woof, not the princess. No, nope. Princess Lyrie is in her tower. There are two princesses. <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> there is one. <laughs> woof, woof, not the princess. <laughs> well, try giving it a sniff. Sniffs. <laughs> woof, woof, not the princess. <laughs> Told you so. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's an understandable mistake. It's an apparition. A boar is a dog. <laughs> and <laughs> an e <laughs> yeah, it's an evil dragon. And the evil dragon turned out to be a statue. And a duck and a finch are siblings. <laughs> exactly. Paimon can feel her sense of what's real or not slipping away. <laughs> Cough. Well, let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Question mark? Okay, Mori. Be a good doggy and he's the tower. <laughs> what about you, Anne? Me? Well, I'm going up with Lord and Lady Origin. Oh, Lord Origins and Primer. I see. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, then what do we do now? <laughs> Use these bubbles. The princess would make these back when she would play with us. And fly very high up indeed. We would fly around in those bubbles, touring the realm. That sounds exciting. <coughs> <coughs> Whatever the case, we just need to sit in the bubbles and we'll go up this direction. Bubble time. Take it and have fun. The wind rises. Bubble. Bubble time. <laughs> Upon the gale. <laughs> you even want this? Following me. Enter bubble. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, we broke the first one. Fantastic.
is trippy as shit. Mona sacrificed herself. Sweet. That's two. Unnecessary. Huh. That's really cool. He just coolly swam around in this guy.
Crushing hold. You dare to gaze upon me? The wind knows me. My reckoning has come. Born from the same source. I don't see why. Oh, oh my god, they're gonna do the. They're all gonna turn into the same thing, aren't they? They're all gonna power ranger themselves together. Bomb together. They all became the orb. They all became the orb. They all became an orb. They all formed the orb together. As you wish.
team gave us the power to ascend. Water is formless. What comes from water will surely return to water. Once we rescue the princess, she'll be able to bring them back. Mm, it's a portal. Where does it lead? Let's see what's on the other side. Unnecessary. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what's going on? We're actually in a new kind of place? What? We're in a new kind of place. It's a library? Kingdom through the looking glass. God damn. your place. Squall and fury. As a dutiful maid would. I must leave no stone unturned. Into the wind. Clouds high. The birds call! <laughs> Unnecessary.
unnecessary. Following me. Behold! Upon the gale. Have a walk, holy sod. Whoa. Squall and fury. One with nature. Gloves off. Let's get it on. Leave it all to me. to the wind. Squall and fury.
it has just rapidly come to my attention that I may very well be doing something that I do not intend to do, which is spoilers. So I'm just going to quickly grab a... There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation a, just to occupy um, silence. Grab a screenshot. And just chuck that. Relax. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Give me this, please. No, I need a goddamn... I need a file. I need a goddamn JPEG. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. The JPEG sick. I'm nabbing it, dude. Nabbing it. Sorry, dude. Gotta nab. Gotta nab the thumbnail. You getting you getting one thousand views. You getting twenty eight thousand views, bro. Relax. Bro, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Bro's getting twenty eight thousand views on his video. I'm nabbing. I'm nabbing. You're a bigger content creator than me. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, I gotta head over to my YouTube studios. Quickly just um quickly just, you know. Quickly just grab the live of uh, Fontaine. Grab this live. Uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn, should have nabbed the name. Fontaine. Genshin. Is it Fontaine? Is that what it is? I think people will appreciate. I think people will appreciate the change in the thumbnail. I know. I certainly know. Even Danny will, because, like I say, I don't want people getting the wrong impression. So maybe now, if I has it changed? Yeah. Yeah, I think even Danny will appreciate that. Behold. A little, the little spoiler warning. Just adding that in is a nice yeah. change of pace. Because obviously, like you say, I don't want people thinking that this is like a normal stream. Following me. Huh. <gasps> Quit following me. Steady as stone. The wind rises. How amusing. Nothing worth mentioning. How 
amusing. That's far enough. How amusing. The wind knows me. Tip. Leave it all to me. The wind rises. You dare to gaze upon me? <laughs> Woohoo! Not that way. Into the wind. <laughs> Falling leaves adorn my night. <laughs> Steady as stone. Wind Strider. Look alive. You asked for it. Let's get it on. The wind knows me. A fateful offering. Squall and Fury. Following me. Huh, too slow. The wind rises.
following me. Too slow. Following me. Huh. <gasps> Quit following me. Squall and Fury! <laughs> Too slow. <sighs> Quit following me. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. <laughs> Too slow. rises. Ha! Ah! 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 Ah!
That's far enough. Nope, my server is broken. Amusing. It's really annoying. Well, I think that's the stream for tonight. <coughs> it's been absolutely bollocks. As far as I'm concerned at the moment, my Genshin's crashed, but it's been three hours of streaming. So I love you all. I'll see you in a bit. I might do some Fontaine stuff to myself, um, off stream, little bits of like waypoint unlockings and things like that. Uh, but essentially, I might do the rest of it, a little bits of it off stream, like the more minor stuff. We're obviously going to pick up with Sumeru um, in tomorrow's live stream, so I'll, I'll make a Sumeru thumbnail so you know when we're doing Fontaine content, when we're doing Sumeru content that way. No one gets confused. Nobody watches the thing that they don't want to see. Everything will be groovy. Right? Love your faces. See you later.